Hi everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to place an IV cannula in the cephalic vein of your dog. So make sure the area is sterile, okay? You have to clip, swab, whatever it is. So I'll be using this cannula. It's winged, it has wings that is. It's a 20 gauge cannula and they're different, really. They're different cannulas on the market, but this is what's available. Okay, so hold the leg in place. Make sure you place the thumb against the cannula, the cannula so that, yeah, the, the vein is not mobile. Don't go too deep. Don't go too light. And like you can see, I'm placing it at a 45 degree angle. I find that very easy. Others will go over the vein. Okay, once you see blood there, means you're in, you push in the plastic while you pull out the needle okay once you're in loosen the tourniquet okay and then you close that's very very important as you can see this dog is quite big and it's not all the time that you see the vein so it's very very important that you know your anatomy you know where the cephalic vein is and please don't ask me why i'm not wearing gloves <laughs> yeah so anatomy is very very important because the veins might not always be obvious Okay, but you need to know where they run. You can secure the catheter or the cannula in. Uh, however it is, make sure it's secure. <laughs> okay, I'm using uh, elastoplast. Okay, or is it plaster as others would say? You can use Vetrap, you can use whatever is there, you really. Just make sure it's nicely placed so that the dog cannot easily remove it. And also, if they're very dehydrated, you don't want to place it loosely. And then it easily comes off. Then you have to look for the vein again. And they might be more dehydrated and everything else. Okay. So you can see I'm going over this a number of times. You know, whatever makes you sleep at night. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, make sure it's well secured. Okay. So I hope you like this. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.